Valley Forge, winter 1778. Thomas Paine. These are the times that try men's souls. The summer soldier and the sunshine patriot will, in this crisis, shrink from the service of their country. But he that stands by it now deserves the love and thanks of man and woman. Tyranny, like hell, is not easily conquered. Yet we have this consolation with us, that the harder the conflict, the more glorious the triumph. I am seeing the best minds of my generation Waste away in pestilence and starvation Is this all a test or have we met our doom? Have we set up camp or parameters for our tomb? I have never seen the general so despondent I have taken over writing all his correspondence I am breaking Congress and received dishonest responses I am beyond comprehension of their nonsense Congress writes, George, attack the British forces I shoot back we have resorted to eating our horses Local merchants deny us equipment assistance They only take British money So sing a song of sixpence Sixty tents full of dysentery death I am pressing dilettos and deserters in the distance Congress, I beg of you, justify your existence All you men are just a bunch of indigenous infants Unite these states, give them stakes in our resistance Do you have no influence at all, you fucking skin flint? The cavalry's not coming But sir, Alex, listen, there's only one way for us to win this Provoke outrage Outright That's right Don't engage, strike by night Remain relentless till their troops take flight Make it impossible to justify the cost of uh -huh. the fight Outrun, outrun, outlast, outlast Hit them quick, get out fast Stay alive until this horror show is past We're gonna fly a lot of flags half-mast Raise a glass I go back to New York and my apprenticeship I ask for French aid, I pray that France is sent to ship I stay at work with Hamilton, we write essays against slavery And every day's a test of our camaraderie and bravery We cut supply lines, we steal contraband We pick and choose our battles and places to take a stand And every day, sir, entrust me with a command And every day, no. he dismisses me out of hand Instead of me, he promotes Charles Lee, makes him second in command I'm a general! Not the choice I would have gone with. He shits the bed at the Battle of Monmouth. Everyone attack! Retreat! Attack! Retreat! What are you doing? Lee, get back on your feet! But there's so many of them! I'm sorry, is this not your speed? Hamilton, ready, sir! Have Lafayette take the lead! Yes, sir! A thousand soldiers die in a hundred degree heat as we snatch a stalemate from the jaws of defeat. Charles Lee was left behind without a pot to piss in. He started saying this to anybody who would listen. Washington cannot be left alone to his devices. Indecisive from crisis to crisis. The best thing he can do for the revolution is turn and go back to planting tobacco in Mount Vernon. <laughs> Don't do a thing. History will prove him wrong. But sir, we have a war to fight. Let's move along. Strong words from Lee. Someone ought to hold him to it. I can't disobey direct orders. Then I'll do it. Alexander, you're the closest friend I've got. Lawrence, do not throw away your shot. <laughs>